Good evening. State Senator Paul Lavota has resigned after two former interns accused him of sexual harassment. The senator announced his decision on Facebook this evening. KRCG 13's Garrett Burquist joins us in the studio to explain how it happened. Senator Lavota said just two days ago he had no plans to step down. That changed after a second intern came forward with documentation of his questionable behavior. It started on Wednesday when the Missouri Senate released an independent report on allegations that Senator Paul Lavota had sexually harassed an intern. The intern came forward the next day. The way, that, the way he acted towards me was predatory and it was something that he had done before. Hembry says Lavota invited her to his Jefferson City duplex, telling her, if you want to sleep with me tonight, I wouldn't say no. When she refused his advances, she said Lavota shunned her and froze her out of office activities. Hembry changed phones during the spring, so she had no text messages to prove Lavota's behavior. There's no proof to any of these allegations. That changed when Taylor Hearth came forward on Thursday with texts Lavota had sent her when she interned for him five years ago. I didn't want her to be out there alone, you know, worrying that people weren't believing her and defending her when I had, you know, documentation of him doing this. On Friday evening, Lavota announced his resignation on Facebook. He wrote, I did not engage in harassment of any intern in the Missouri Senate, and an investigation found no proof of misconduct. However, I will not put my family, myself, or the Senate through the process of dealing with the veracity of false allegations and character assassination against me. Governor Jay Nixon says Lavota's decision is a necessary step and is in the best interests of his constituents. Lavota's resignation becomes effective on August 23rd. That's well before the legislative veto session begins in September. Presumably it would end the need for further investigation by the Senate Ethics Committee.